Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. Today was Super Tuesday in the US. Yes, I'm aware it's Wednesday, time zones are weird, but it means that the US primary elections have officially kicked off. Here's Nat. Yep, that's right. It's been a big Tuesday in the US. A Super Tuesday, in fact. With 15 US states and one territory casting their primary election ballots in the lead up to the presidential election. I voted for Donald Trump. And I voted for Joe Biden today. I mean, they're both old and I'm not excited about either one of them. Tense, tense. You know, it's, uh, it's uh, Biden versus Trump again. It's the second biggest day of voting in the US, second only to the big day itself. Even Taylor Swift put her two cents in with this post on Instagram. But, I hear you ask, what are the primaries? And what exactly is being voted on here? Well, it's not a president. Not yet. It's who each party wants to see run for president. You see, before the US can get to a big election, like the one coming up later this year, political parties must choose one person to be their candidate. At the moment, Donald Trump is well and truly leading the polls for the Republicans, but another candidate, Nikki Haley, is giving him a bit of a run for his money. While over on the Democrat side, it's looking pretty smooth sailing for Joe Biden, who's the clear frontrunner at the moment. But things are only just getting started. 16 primary elections were on today, but there are 50 states all up in the US. So we'll have to wait and see how things shape up. Oh. If you, for some reason, were trying to have a scroll on Instagram in the wee hours of the morning, well, you probably couldn't have. That's because there was a massive outage that booted hundreds of thousands of global users off Facebook and Instagram, leaving them unable to log in. The disruption started at about 2am, but things were back up and running within a couple of hours. Ooh, can you hear that? That's the song Australia will be entering in this year's Eurovision contest. Sass has more. It's quite catchy, isn't it? Yes, Jack, you won't be able to stop dancing anytime soon, because we're about to hear a lot more of this song. It's from South Australian electro-pop duo Electric Fields, who have just been confirmed as the Australian competitors at this year's Eurovision Song Contest, which sees artists from across Europe and some other lucky countries like ours battle it out for glory. It was absolutely thrilling. We had our little fangirl moment and then everything reality sunk in and we were like, oh my God, now we've got to work. The song is called Wan Milkali, which means one blood in Yang Kinjara, an Aboriginal language of the Inanu peoples. So I'm from Mimili community from the APY lands, and the word Milkali is a Yang Kinjara word. I'm a Yang Kinjara speaker. And it also features the didgeridoo, which will be a first for the contest. This year will be Australia's ninth time competing at Eurovision, which will be held in Sweden in May. So this duo still has a bit of time to perfect their act before hitting the stage. Mm. Well, now it's time for... Oh, Pepper, yes please. A bit more. More, 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 more. Oh no, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I was letting the audience know the name of this next segment. Gosh, that's a lot of Pepper. I don't think I'll need any more. More than 100 Lego sculptures made up of more than 1 million Lego bricks have gone on display in London as part of the Art of the Brick exhibition. The sculptures were made by artist Nathan Sawyer, who spent about 20 years gluing together tiny bricks to create some pretty impressive pieces, including some well-known artworks. Move over, Batman, and get out of here, Superman, because there is a new superhero in town, Recycler Man. I know, we probably don't need any more superheroes, but who else is going to fight this slightly unnerving trash villain, Bacerator? Recycler Man and his uh, nemesis have been visiting schools in Venezuela, educating students about recycling, saying more needs to be done to tackle the problem. And thanks to some wild, windy weather, several towns in the US have been taken over by more tumbleweeds than I've ever seen in my entire life. And with more windy conditions expected, there could be even more tumbleweeds to come. Well, that's all there is. There's no more. But we'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I need a new salad. This one's full of pepper. Thank you. Bye-bye.